Hi, this is JB from Not Alive Silver Arkham. Welcome to another episode of Eye of Chaos, where we pick a random investigator and build a chaos deck on Arkham DB for that investigator, and then play the Midnight Mass scenario and try to do the best we can. So, uh, if you have watched my previous videos, I did uh, a little <laughs> play error in all of those. Uh, when the ghoul priest spawned, I didn't spawn it at your house, I made it more difficult for me and spawn it on myself, so uh, from now on I try to <laughs> remember to spawn the cool priest correctly, so I don't make it too hard for myself. But let's uh, pick our uh, lucky investigator for this uh, run. So I have all of my tokens except for those that have already appeared in the series in the bag, so uh, we'll pick one at random, and it is another mystic, and it is Agnes. So, we are building another mystic deck, so let's hop over to Arkham DB and see what kind of deck we build. Okay, and we are on ArkhamDB.com, and we have Agnes Baker selected as our investigator. So let's click the Chaos button and see what kind of deck we get. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, so far our Mystics have not done that great in the uh, playthrough, so hoping to get a decent Mystic deck for once, so we can at least get a <laughs> few more... Uh, victory points and call this defeated on this run. So I'll just click the chaos button and we'll generate the deck. And let's see what we got. So uh, right away, um, a very uh, strange looking deck we are having here. So uh, first off, we have a, a weapon in the 18 Derringer. So one copy of this. Um, well, uh, we can at least try to use it if we get it into play. Uh, we have two copies of Flashlight, which is really good for this scenario. There are a lot of uh, two shroud locations, so the flashlights will help us to find some clues. Uh, then we have Knife, and that is pretty useless and Ketonian stone uh, well uh, the tablet is uh, minus three so uh, we could uh, lock that onto this card so we don't see it uh, maybe useful then uh, clarity of mind heal horror okay pretty useless uh, healing words <laughs> heal damage again uh, well um, of course, Agnes has the ability to take uh, horror and well, let's see. So, if uh, after one or more horror is placed on Agnes Baker, deal one damage to an enemy at your location. So, if we take a lot of horror, the horror healing actually could help us. Uh, then we have an evasive spell, Mister Brule. Uh, that it is a decent, decent spell. Uh, Terry's keepsake lets us. Uh, have a, some horror soak. I'm just hoping we get something that can uh, make us deal horror or on us by default. So, mm, rabbit's foot. Well, uh, competing with the cherry's keepsake and hair room of Hyperborea. So, not that interested in seeing the rabbit's foot. Mm, granny Orn. Uh, maybe not the best. Uh, Madame Lebranche. Okay. Well, it's uh, extra card draw or resources, depending on if we are running out of something. Dig deep. Uh, not that uh, interested in this for Agnes. Forbidden knowledge. Well, this is a card we really wanted to see. So we have a way to uh, take horror to ping enemies with Agnes's ability. Then uh, Scrapper level 0. Uh, not seeing this being any useful. 
well, maybe for committing for an agility icon. Uh, then we have, uh, again, Dark Prophecy. Uh, an okay card, but not that useful, I think. Dumb luck. Well, it's two agility icons. Uh, yeah, if we fail an agility test, we could get rid of the enemy for a moment, so maybe useful, maybe not. Eldritch Inspiration, I think that's useless. Uh, Grit Your Teeth is an okay card. Uh, oh yeah, we have two copies of Eldritch Inspiration. Improvised Weapon uh, times two, so we are uh, chugging some item assets and maybe using those to fight. Uh, one copy of Lucky, always good to see Lucky in the deck. Quantum Flux, um, not in any way useful. Trial by Fire, might be useful. Uh, Uncage the Soul, well, it's a economic card for the spells. We don't have that many spells, so not really happy to um, see that. Uh, beloved, mm, useless. We don't have a, a way to uh, generate blessed tokens into the back, so uh, this is only for good for the skill icons, but it, it gives some good skill icons, so at least there's that. And last chance, well, it is what it is, so if we're running a lot of cards, then this is a great card to have, but not really liking the deck that much, but we'll see how we go. it goes, and we'll uh, just generate the... Um, so, uh, unfortunately, this is a multiplayer card only, so we need to remove it, and try again. Just a moment, we have to... Try again with the random basic weakness, so let's see what we get now. Nihilism. Okay, well, we get Nihilism, and that is that, so it's a really soft uh, weakness, for, so at least there's that, so that is the deck. I will next build the deck, and then we can get started, so let's get going. Okay, and we are ready to start. We have the Agnes Baker uh, Chaos deck built and shuffled, and also the Encounter deck shuffled. And as a reminder, the K uh, Ghoul Priest is in the Encounter deck, as this is a standalone run of the Midnight Mass scenario. Uh, this time I will try to remember that if I draw the Ghoul Priest, it will spawn at your house, so we won't make Agnes's life too difficult by spawning it on her. So, let's draw our opening hand. And uh, just hoping to find some clue tech. And we find Uncates the Soul, Last Chance, 18 Darren Chen, Madame Lafrange, and Rabbit's Food. So, um, I think just to have something with to fight with, I'll keep that. The others are Mulligan, so drawing uh, four more cards. We find the Forbidden Knowledge, uh, Dark Prophesy, Dumb Luck, and Scrapper. So, no flashlights, which are actually our own uh, only clue tech in this scenario, but or in the deck, but yeah, we'll have to see if we can find some to get even some clues, but at least we can fight. Uh, the Forbidden Knowledge is a really good draw, and also the uh, 18 Derringer lets us have a decent chance to fight. And also maybe the Scrapper is somewhat useless, uh, useful at the moment. So uh, we have shuffled the deck, and our first turn will be to... Uh, I'll just play the Forbidden Knowledge. And I'll put it actually on the body slot because we don't have any body slot items, so I'll keep it there. It comes into play with four secrets. 
that lets us ping enemies and get some extra resources. Uh, we'll play the scrapper as a second action. So we can uh, use the extra resources and last action we'll just play the derringer. And that comes into play with two ammo counters. So pretty much a setup turn for the first turn. Nothing special happening. No enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, another scrapper, we don't need it, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom to the agenda. The first encounter card for this game is, <laughs> of course, well, um, we'll spawn the Ghoul Priest at our location, but it engages us, so <laughs> no help there for remembering that the Ghoul Priest spawns at your house. Okay, well, it is apparent we need to kill the Ghoul Priest now, so... First thing first, we'll take one horror and uh, get one resource and ping the ghoul priest for one damage with Agnes's own ability. So after one or more horror is placed on Agnes Baker, deal one damage to an enemy at your location, leave it once per phase, so we can't do it again in this phase. And uh, first action of the turn is to I will use the uh, 18 Derringer to shoot and we'll commit the Scrapper. So we are fighting uh, 4, 5 against 4, so I'll go 6 against 4. Exhausted, so we can't use that even later. It's a plus one. Uh, we deal two damage to the cool priest, so we still need to ping it for two damage. So uh, we will uh, shoot again, and I'm using the last resource from here. So, fighting 5 versus 4. So, actually, it, it, it was a good um, <laughs> play to put the scrapper into play and all of these uh, weapons and stuff. So, minus 1, we are able to defeat the cool priest. So, at least there's that. So, we uh, actually managed to kill off the cool priest and uh, get two victory points from this uh, playthrough. We still have one action, so last action I'm just trying to investigate. I really don't uh, have anything to boost the uh, investigate try with, so it is 2 versus 2. Minus 1, we fail, so no clue. Uh, no enemies, we go to upkeep. We draw a card, we get the rabbit's food, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. At least we killed the pool priest, so that is something. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom. Encounter card is... <laughs> a Hunting Night Count. So... Um, not really liking this that we are bogged down with enemies right from the get-go. And... Uh, first action, we are just going to evade this guy. So... I'm committing the Dark Prophesy to the test, so we are evading uh, 4 versus uh, 1. Again, no use to commit it, because if we get a minus 2, we fail. So, um, my hand is Dark Prophesy, Rabbit's Food, and Dumb Luck, so uh, all of those might become useful at some point, but at least they got some good token. Uh, good icons on them, so there's that. So evading 3 versus 1. It's a skull. Skull is X. X is the number, highest number of two monocultist enemies, so no, it's a 0. This night, uh, hunting night count is evaded, and we will leave this location, but 
I think I'm first investigating and committing the rabbit's foot, so investigating three versus two, hoping to uh, grab this clue before we leave. Plus one, we were lucky enough to get the clue, so we can, uh, with our last action, just leave to River Town. And next turn, we have a good chance of it, uh, investigating River Town. And that is the investigation phase. Enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep, we draw a card. Uh, we get Granny Orn, so our hand is Granny Orn, Dumb Luck, and Drug Prophesy. And this guy ready is. We gain one resource. Yeah. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom. Three of six. Encounter card for this turn is. Locked door. And it comes into play in River Town, unfortunately. So River Town door is locked. So at the moment we really can't investigate that, but. I think we want that easy clue, so I'm committing the dumb luck uh, and trying the four agility test. And I'm also so I'm uh, five versus four. I'm using one resource from a scrapper. It'll be six versus four, so I'm two up. It's another plus one, so the lock door is gone. Second action we are investigating. I don't have anything to commit to the test, so I'm just testing. Um, actually, I'm playing the Dark Professor. So we draw uh, five tokens, and skulls are zero, so I'm looking for a skull. So, uh, no luck there. So we have to pick this and place one Doom on the nearest cultist enemy. No help from there. Last action, we are uh, running away from the Night Count, so uh, we'll move uh, up to East Town. And it is uh, two short locations with one clue. And that is it. The Night Count uh, hunts to River Town. We go to upkeep, we ready up, we draw a card, grit your teeth, and we gain one resource. So our hand is grit your teeth and granny own. That is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a doom, four of six, encounter card for this turn is uh, Crypt Chill, test willpower four. If you fail, choose and discard one asset. If you cannot take two damage instead, so if we fail, we just lose the 18 derringer because we don't have any ways to add ammo on it. So uh, five versus four, it's a zero because it's a skull. So we just uh, pass that, and that is it. Uh, first action, we'll try to investigate here. Two versus two. Yeah, I'm just investigating. If we fail, I'll use creature seeds. It's a zero because it's a skull. We grab this clue. Second action, we'll use the clues to spawn on a um, cultist. And it is Herman Collins, and it, uh, he spawns at the graveyard. So we have some back pedaling to do to get to there to defeat Herman Collins. And um, Herman Collins action, choose and discard four cards from your hand. Paul, I add Herman Collins into the victory display. So my plan is probably to make a loop around, make the Night Count hunt us uh, to East Town, Downtown and North Side. And while the Night Count is running after us, we'll uh, run back and go to the graveyard to uh, defeat Herman Collins. And by that, then we should have enough cards in hand to be able to defeat him. Uh, last action, we'll just move to downtown. And downtown is a two clue location, four shroud. So four shroud, two clues. I think we are just going to keep on moving past this. Enemy face, the night count hunts up here. 
upkeep, we draw a card, we get Cherry's Keepsake and gain one wisdom. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 5 of 6 Doom and Kong card for this turn is uh, Mysterious Chanting. So we don't have any... Uh, actually we do have a Cultist, so that is uh, unfortunate. Uh, lucky for us, we are going to... We are going to advance next turn, so these tombs are irrelevant, so nothing uh, bad actually happens from that. Uh, we'll go to investigation phase. Uh, first action, we'll just move to the north side. Three, shroud, two clues, and... Uh, spend five resources, gain uh, two clues from the token pool. Group limit once per game. We could actually do that because we really don't have good ways of getting clues. So um, uh, I'll do two actions. So uh, first action get a resource. Second action get a resource. Uh, or third action get a resource, and we'll. Uh, yeah, we we save the forbidden knowledge because next turn we'll generate the resource. We get a clue. We get the clues for first action. One, two. We get to River Town, and yeah, that that seems like a good play. Actually, <coughs> uh, we are getting the uh, Mast Hunter next turn, so we also have to be able to. Evade that guy. We really don't have a way to defeat that guy, so. Yeah, uh, I think we might be able to avoid that guy. So, I'm actually taking one resource, so we have a way to bo boost Scrapper next turn. So, we'll take one horror to generate a resource. And that is our uh, investigative phase, uh, enemy phase. This guy hunts here. Uh, upkeep, we draw a card, uh, trial by fire, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a doom, so we advance, so all of this doom goes away. Get the mask hunter. And he spawns on us. And the encounter card for this turn is Acolyte. This is perfect. So let's just spawn the Acolyte onto the Miskatonic University. We can just uh, pass him and ping one. Uh, damage the acolyte to kill it. So that <coughs> that doesn't uh, change our plan in, in the slightest. So first action, we are evading the mass hunter. I'm evading three versus two. Um, let's go four versus two. So I'm up by two. And it's the tablet which is uh, minus three. If you fail, place one of your clues on your location. We don't have any clues, so... Mm. Damn, I wish I would have um, boosted my ability more. Well, it is what it is. We have to do it again. And now I... I think I have to be sure and commit one card. So I'm committing the trial by fire. So again, I'm uh, up by two, minus two. So now this guy is evaded. Actually, like so. And. Uh, well, we uh, we don't have a we don't have time to uh, 
grab the clues now because the night count is coming. So, last action will move to Miskatonic University, and I'll take one horror, get gain one resource. This uh, should have not been exhausted, so we defeat this uh, acolyte while we are here. Then. Uh, Miskatonic University has uh, Shroud of War, two clues, and that is it. So, yeah, uh, enemy face this uh, night gun hunt here. Upkeep uh, the mass hunter readies. We'll draw a card. Uh, we get dark memory and we gain one resource. So, uh, I think that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, and uh, we'll add Doom to the agenda. Encounter card for this turn is... Another Night Gun, so... <laughs> Unfortunately, we are uh, getting swung by enemies, so... We have to somehow get uh, away from this guy, and then get to the graveyard and a lot of other stuff so uh, I think we we aim to defeat Herman Collins and that uh, that is it maybe clear the graveyard from close to get a victory point from there but I think pretty much after that we are resigning just too much enemy action going on and no ways to really clear those four held enemies so first action uh, we are just evading this guy, so uh, we have a ton of resources. So I'm just uh, I'm going uh, five versus one. So we, even if we hit a minus two, we'll still succeed. <laughs> it's a tablet minus three. So uh, if you fail, place one of your clues on your location. No, just fail. So second action, we'll do that again. Again, spending two clues. Actually, mm, yeah, we'll just spend two clues. Uh, two resources, I mean. Uh, plus one, we evade this guy. Which one is it? Is this one, yeah. Last action, we have to move over here. And, uh, yeah. We can't play the Dark Memory. Other cards in hand are Cherish Keepsake, Grit Your Teeth and Granny On. So we... Um, we have to reveal it and we take two horror. Uh, we can't avoid that. So... We have taken five horror, so we are... Uh, we only have three left, so that is also a concern. Enemy face, uh, these guys hunt here. Upkeep, uh, we ready everything. We draw a card, flashlight, pretty late to the game. And we gain one resource, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, so this might be possibly the last turn, depending on how, how things go. Uh, or the next one, we'll see. Um, we'll add a doom and we gain a encounter card, and it is on wings of darkness, of course. Really, do we want to commit anything to this? Uh, we don't have that many agility icons, we have grit your teeth, so we won't do that much. I think I will. Just take the damage and horror. So let's uh, boost it by two. So I'm using the scrapper for this. So I am uh, five versus four. Yeah. 
it's a skull, it's a minus zero, so we pass. Nothing happens. Uh, first action, we play Dark Memory. Just to get that out of our hand, and uh, we'll add a Doom to the current agenda. Second action, we'll move to the graveyard. Uh, one shroud, two clues. High possibility of next turn, just uh, grab the clues and resign. Last action for this turn, uh, we will discard four cards from our hand and defeat Herman Collins. That is our turn. Enemy phase. All of these enemies hunt here, so <laughs> we really have no way to get out of here. Okay, and uh, I almost forgot to do the... After you enter graveyard, test uh, willpower 3. If you fail, you must either take two horror or uh, move to river town. So we are probably taking the two horror if we fail. Uh, testing 5 versus 3, so I have a good chance to succeed. It's a 0. Skulls are still 0, so we don't take the horror. Uh, upkeep, we draw a card, last chance, and again one is source. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 4 of 8 Doom. Encounter card is uh, Crypt Chill. I'm just testing 4 versus 5. If we fail, we'll lose the Avenger. Upkeep. It's a minus 1, we succeed, so nothing happens. So. Uh, this will be a quick turn. I'll commit last chance to the first investigation check here. Minus two, we still succeed. We grab a clue. Actually, it doesn't matter because we dropped our clues here. So... Uh, no point in uh, risking anything. So I'll, uh, second action, I'll just resign so we don't get uh, run over by the mass hunter and night comes uh, at the enemy phase. So, mm, well, uh, this actually went better than uh, the last two uh, Mystic runs I've done lately. So Agnes was able to uh, first run defeat the Cool Priest and then even though we got a ton of enemies on us, uh, we were able to circle around to the graveyard and defeat Herman Collins. So we were able to grab three uh, victory points from this uh, scenario. So not the worst run, but still the deck was uh, horrible. Uh, we only had like uh, two uh, clue tech cards in the deck, so two flashlights and we didn't see those the whole game basically, uh, or one too late. And yeah, uh, Luckily, we were able to get the Forbidden Knowledge and the Daring Chair on the first turn, so we were uh, ready to defeat the Ghoul Priest right when that guy spawned on us. Uh, we didn't have any way to defeat the Mar Ma uh, Mask Hunter or the Night Counts. Uh, they just had too much health on them, uh, but uh, the Forbidden Knowledge let us uh, defeat the um, Acolyte at least, so we could slow down the Doom escalation. So. Uh, three victory points for Agnes. I'm pretty okay with that resolution. So, hope you guys liked this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.